Okay, we are rolling. Um, I just got a new webcam, so um, welcome to Sally Tells the Truth. Now, I apologize for sort of the blandish kind of colors because it is a webcam, but this is like the best way that I can be up close to the camera so I can show you these products and we can discuss the truth. So welcome, welcome to another session of Sally Tells the Truth. Woohoo! Okay, let's get started. So we're going to pause that music there. Um, so today I'm going to talk about a, a bunch of different serums. So the topic for today is serums and do they work? Okay. So I have used serums for, gosh, so many years now. And back before serums became a thing, there were those under eye pads that um, were, you know, claiming to do miracles. And... Um, they worked great for me in my young 30s and then I made the decision to lose weight get in shape for the first time and yes I've done this a couple times haha <laughs> so uh, when I when you do that there are pros and cons to losing weight and getting in shape and one of the cons is that when you lose weight you do it all over and your face will fall down not only will your face fall down which that wasn't too bad of a deal in my 30s but when I did it again in my mid 40s there was you know I'm seeing like some jowlish you know, some looseness here and you know when I smile I got these, these lines so you know but hey I'm almost 50 now so I feel like I look pretty decent for 50 and um, but you know again the lines get a little deeper each time you do that um, you might develop some you know, marionette lines here so um, you know you're gonna need some serums and some stuff if you're really concerned about the way that you look and you want to age gracefully. So I'm gonna um, talk about this first product here. Uh, some of the serums that I've gotten from Wish.com, some of them, you know, they're they're viscous, they're balmy, and they're about a medium weight, and um, they worked okay. You know, they did their job. Um, but this particular stuff was a little bit more pricier. And when I squirted it on my face, this blue sapphire, this one like claimed to have stem cells, it claimed to have vitamin C, peptides. It was like a seven in one miracle. When I squirted this stuff on my finger and went to go put it on, it was like water, nothing in there. I'm like, what a bunch of crap. So that's the truth about blue sapphire. Uh, and just as a side note, be very careful what you buy online um, with, with foreign companies companies because you don't know you know they don't have an FDA here and just as a side note again FDA here in America is only for reporting what's in a product they don't tell you what's missing and they don't tell you if there's bad stuff they don't have time to test to see if there's possible you know cancer causing carcinogens and things in a product so they can only verify that yes this has vitamin B yes this is good with vitamin C yes it has this much sugar this and that okay so that's what the FDA does okay so just so you know just if you think something's well it was FDA approved that's the truth of the FDA and I might just do a whole video uh, the truth about the FDA so moving moving on we're gonna go to the next product now this is um, the Madrixel 3000 Woo! and this stuff does not have stem cells in it it does however have arginine, vitamin C and peptides this is another one of those like several things in one type of serum this stuff back in the day was so expensive I'm just like yeah you know 55 almost 60 bucks and then you're shipping on top of that uh, 
that was just something I really couldn't afford back back like a couple years ago. And so finally, when they dropped the price down, um, it's now you can get on Amazon for around thirty five bucks. Um, it's this is a huge bottle. I mean, there's a lot in here. And so, um, bottom line, did it do a miracle? Not really. Uh, it do I look any worse? No, I don't. I want you to know that since I've been using serums, you know, this serum and the Dr. Pen, uh, and I do like every, I try to do it like every two weeks. Um, I do a, a lighter session. I don't go as deep because if you do go deep, thinking you're going to get a bigger result, you could hurt yourself and you could end up actually in the emergency room, which that's another story I'll tell you about another time. So the combination of using a lot of serums and doing regular Dr. Penn sessions has kept the lines at bay. But for the most part, the big miracle that happened was uh, one day after class, uh, my exercise class, I wake up the next morning and um, there's these huge bags under my eyes. Now you can see I'm really flat. I mean, there's no water. I mean, I got lines, yeah, because I mean, hell, I'm like 50, 50 years old, okay? But I had a big bag, like down to here. And on this side, it was like down to here. It just, whoosh, this giant thing. And I'm like, okay, was I crying the day before? Did I have a bad day? You know, did I eat too much salt? There was really, what happened was when you lose a lot of weight, all that fat that was there to keep your face plump and youthful and chubby like a baby, it's gone. So you have a big pocket there and you don't realize that it's there until it fills up with water. And so, um, yeah, it was looking bad. I finally bit the bullet and I just said, look, I'll take a chill pill and then I'll have someone drive me home. No, I didn't do that. I just, you know, I had a long talk with the doctor. We had a consultation. She explained step by step what we we're going to do, blah, blah. And it, it wasn't too bad. It's a very harrowing process to get fillers done. And, you know, you have to look pretty damn bad to, to go that route. So between using fill, um, serums and doing the Dr. Pen, I have managed, it's been like almost two years. In March, it will be two years since I've gone to the doctor and there's uh, you can see I'm flat as a flitter here no bag nothing there's I mean I'm telling you this was like a puffy pustule like like a snap pea you know green bean under my eye it was so intensely bad and so I have managed to keep that at bay and that's the great thing about what's the miracle of serums and the Dr. Penn can do as far as fine lines and some of those wrinkles I mean I got like a double here and I mean I got like you know kind of a you can see there's like a, a dash mark there yeah you know um, I would say that unless you're going to do a long procedure with your serum every day and you wake up an hour early before you get ready for work in the morning and you follow a step-by-step -step procedure these are not going to be all that effective. I just feel like it. what it does is it helps to slow down the aging process. So for what you want to look like tomorrow, do the right stuff today. But um, this Madrixel 3000 is um, a, a really big bottle. It's it, you get it's a several one several different chemicals in one. Your peptides, adrenaline, uh, vitamin C, which is really great for the skin. Stem cells, no, there's no stem cells, and stem cells is the new big thing. So that brings me to my next product. Uh, this is Neogenesis. I got this from Christine Beyer, and I've been uh, a follower of hers for a long time. She's so sweet and so humble. And for being a very popular, well-educated, as successful esthetician, she's always doing videos on her YouTube channel of do-it-yourself and things that you can do at home to help yourself and that's how successful she is she's not desperate for people's money you know come see me and I'll do the magic on you she tells you what you can do right there at home so she started to uh, incorporate this line because of the stem cells in this neogenesis and um, I don't know um, I use this in the morning and I some days I used it in the middle of the day and I used it again at night now this is the this is the eye serum with the stem cells in it. I also ordered the the total recovery. Get that on there. 
Sorry, I'm, this is a brand new webcam. I usually do this on my cell phone. Um, so those two products. Now, if you go to the Neogenesis website, it ranges from like $19 to $65. So I don't know how much she's getting this stuff wholesale, but I paid $69.50 for this. And then I paid uh, $119 for this little tiny bottle. And I mean, you just don't really get your money's worth. It's, you know, when I could have had this big thing for $50, bucks, um, if I find something with stem cells in it, you know I'm going to be buying the bigger giant bottle. Um, do I look worse? No, it didn't do any damage, um, but did it do the miracle? Um, I've been using this for about a month and a week or two now, and honestly, I don't notice that big of a change, to be perfectly honest. Um, it, it's a good medium weight serum. It, um, you know, it goes on nice and viscous -y. It's not sticky. It's not oily. It feels really good on. Um, I like it, and so I'm going to continue using these because... Um, 10 years from now, I'm going to be sorry if I don't. You know, you have to always be thinking about your future. It's not instant fix right now, okay? However, I feel like with the combination of serums and using that Dr. Pen, I, um, uh, you know, it does have sort of an instant tightening effect when you have those needles going in um, and you kind of are jamming the serum into your skin. And then... Uh, two and a half weeks out, you need to do like another session with a Dr. Penn. Um, so uh, moral of the story, what I'm going to say is that you may not see a lot of instant results with all these serums. However, one trick that you can do is if you want to get what if you want to get ready another extra hour early than what you normally do, you get those under eye pads. You slap on all of your serums really heavy. I've even peeled down the pad and then I, I like squirted the um, the serum um, into the pad and then put it back on. And then I went and laid down in bed for like a half an hour and I just let it kind of like really like uh, saturate and permeate the skin. Now they've got those little derma rollers. You can kind of derma roller you know that area first a little bit. Then put your serums on, go lay down nice and flat, let your skin relax and let it just, you know, sink in. But who's got time for that? Jesus. And, you know, I don't want to go to bed every night with these under eye pads on, you know, because let me tell you, after eight hours of sleeping and rolling around on your skin, you're going to wake up looking kind of eh anyways. Um, you know, to me, doing that procedure is kind of a waste of time. But, like, if you can get ready for work or your party or whatever about a half an hour earlier than you normally do, and as soon as you get out of the shower, roller, roller, put your serum on, slap the patch on, and then blow dry your hair. If you can keep the patch on with your hair bent over or whatever, do your hair and everything, and then put your regular lotion that you use for the day on top of that, and then do your makeup you might see some significant results that way um, but you know each person is different um, so do I say it's a yes a yay or a nay this one I have to say I, I you know this is about telling the truth it's not about voting yes or no on every single product that I review so I would say you know these feel great on um, you know, maybe over time they will, you know, do a little bit more. Um, but, you know, I do get some results when I do the under iPad thing. I will say that. So that's what I'm going to end you with. Um, you know, I'd say, like, once you start getting to a certain age point, you know, not a lot of things are going to be super effective. I don't know that you're going to age in, re in reverse. Um, <laughs> uh, you know... This, I feel like it's more like pre preventative for now because, you know, I could look a heck of a lot worse than I already do. Um, so I would say, you know, all these products are definitely good. They're a yes um, if you have the time to really invest in using these and taking the tedious long route of the, using them with the under iPad and all that stuff. and you know, if you've got that kind of time, then they might do something for you. Or if you're significantly younger, you know, skin reacts so much better when you're younger. And that's the truth. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, in my next video, I am going to be reviewing something called Miracle H, which is something that you have to get from 
um, a website overseas and you this is stuff you actually inject I tried to use it with my doctor pen got no results I have not had the bravery to put that in a syringe and then lightly inject because when you're numb and you numb the area it's hard to see just how far that needles going in and I'm still on the fence about that I just don't really feel like that's a wise thing to do when you're not trained and for all these do-it-yourselfers out there you want to take that risk fine but sooner or later someone's gonna come unglued when you kill their face because you say well I did it and I didn't have any problems so whatever um, there's just some things that I just will not do and you know um, Miracle H and um, even some of that gel the actual filler gel I tried to use that on top but that's going to be another separate review again so be looking forward to those two um, uh, the two re next reviews that I'm going to be doing so I'm going to quit rambling and I'm going to sign off and so make your own decision if you know something about these products that I don't know and you want to add something drop a comment below and um, we'll we'll see you next time and if you're wondering like what was going on with my arm here I, it's mosquito bite time and it was just Halloween please click uh, subscribe and, and drop your comments below I'd love to hear from you guys okay thank you God bless namaste